Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how I create this dual animation effect using After Effects and then export it to Lottie. So let's begin. So let's start on the sketch. As you can see, I divide our original illustration into different artboards, light mode and dark mode. So the first thing I will do, I will import our light mode artboard using the AEUX plugin. And this is a plugin that you can find it in aeux.io. And actually we have a dedicated video explaining how we can import different assets from Figma and Sketch. I recommend you to go to our YouTube channel and look for that video. So let's continue. So as you can see, we have already opened our plugins panel. Now we need to make sure that we are selecting our light mode artboard. Then let's go to the panel and choose send selection to After Effects. Okay, let's go back to After Effects. Over here, we need to create a new composition. Let's call this light and dark. Then let's give a duration of six seconds, exactly. And don't forget that the size of the composition will be 1920 by 1080, with 30 frames per second. And let's hit OK. Then let's go to the plugin panel and let's click on build comp so we can import all the different assets from Sketch to After Effects. Now I will select all the different assets from the timeline and I will create a pre-compose. So I will right click and select pre-compose. Now we have this window and we will call the pre-compose light. And we hit OK. Now we need to repeat the same process for the dark mode. So let's go back to sketch and over here, let's select the dark mode artboard and let's go to the plugin panel and select send selection to After Effects. Now let's go back to After Effects and over there, let's import all the different assets. There you go. Now again, let's select the assets from the dark mode and let's create a pre-compose and we will call it dark and we hit OK. Nice. Now that we have all our assets imported from Sketch, we will create a rectangle that we will use to do the swipe between the dark and light mode. So we create the rectangle on the canvas. Okay, maybe around here. It's nice. Okay, so now what we need to make sure is that the edge of the rectangle should be matching the edge of the circle. To do so, let's go to the transform properties of the rectangle and let's put down a little bit its opacity. So for us, it will be more easy to see if both edges are matching. So let's enter over there and let's put the opacity to 76%. Like that, it will be more easy to see if both edges are matching. Now, now let's align the rectangle regarding the canvas. So let's go to this panel and let's click align horizontally and align vertically. Okay, perfect. Now I think it's safe to rotate the rectangle regarding the base of the iMac. So we can give maybe a 45 degrees. And finally, let's put back to 100% the opacity of the rectangle. Now, to the dark precompose, we need to add an alpha inverted matte related to shape layer one. So layer one should be masking dark precompose. To do so, we need to check this option from the trackmatic column. But as you can see, we don't have any column called trackmatic. So what we need to do is we need to go to the down left corner of our screen. And as you can see over there, we have like an icon with a circle and a square. So we click over there and voila, we have a column now called trackmatic. So let's go to the dark precompose. And in that row, we can see that we can choose instead of known we click over there and we choose alpha inverted matte related to shape layer one so let's click over there and there you go suddenly our shape layer disappear but it's actually masking our dark precompose so now what we need to do let's add some keyframes so i will put the scrubber to one second on the timeline and then i will open our shape layer and I will go to the properties in transform. So over there, I will add a keyframe in position and I will change its X axis to 884. Then in the Y axis, I will change it to 612. Okay, perfect. Now I will move the scrubber a little bit until one second and 15 frames. And over there, I will change its X axis to 196 and the Y axis to 1280. Now, let's see the animation, how it's looking. 
Nice, it's looking really good. I will put the scrubber to 3 seconds, and over there, the only thing I will do is to add a keyframe, nothing else. Then I will move the scrubber a little more, to 3 seconds and 15 frames, and I will change its X axis to 540, and its Y axis to 952. Okay, perfect. So, the last thing I will do, I will add a new keyframe in second 5, and also in second 5 and 15 frames, I will add another keyframe, and I will change its X axis to 884, and its Y axis to 612. Okay, nice. So let's see how the whole animation is looking now. Yeah, it's looking really good. Nice. Now, I will select all the different keyframes, and we can add some easy ease. So let's right click over there, and let's go to keyframe assistant, and let's choose easy ease. Okay, perfect. And we can work on this even better. So let's go to the graph editor, and let's choose the first dot of the first curve, and let's put all the way to the right. Let's do the same thing for the second curve and the third curve. Okay, nice, perfect. So now let's go back to the timeline and over there, let's see how it's looking like. Nice, I really love it. So congratulations, you just finished your first animation for Lottie. So what you need to do next is to export your animation to JSON. And how we will do that, we'll use the body moving plugin. I will just leave the link of the body moving plugin on the bottom of the screen. Okay, so let's go to the tab bar and let's choose window. In window, let's go to extensions and over there, let's click on body moving. Okay, perfect. A new window will open and let's select the light and dark composition. Then let's go to the three dots so we can select the destination folder. In my case, I will choose the Lottie folder. Okay, nice. And I will change instead of data, I will put LD, which is light and dark, dot JSON. Then I will hit save, I will hit render, and let's wait for a few seconds. There you go. And then let's hit done. Okay, nice. Now let's go to lottifiles.com slash preview. And this website actually will help us to preview our JSON files. So the only thing we need to do is to drag and drop our JSON. There you go. We wait for a while. And voila, there you have your animation. So this is really amazing and exciting. And you know, I can't wait to see what you guys can do with all this. Please share your animations in Twitter or down below in the comments. So this is the end of the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want more videos like this or if you would like a full course in After Effects, let us know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. My name is Dan from Design Plus Code and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao!